Hello lovelies! So I finally have a story to go with the question, what's the craziest thing I've ever done in my life? Which is not a question that's been asked of me many times before, but I finally have a story to go with it and I'm excited. <laughs> so this happened back in September. So I worked at a gas station and it was right beside the interstate. So we always had a bunch of people getting off the interstate to come in and like get their coffee or whatever they needed and get up back on the road. And I always worked in the mornings, like 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the mornings, or I guess 1 p.m. So I got to see all of our regulars in the morning that would come in to get their coffee before work. So there was this one guy that would come in in particular that I, n I had seen him come in several times before, but I had never noticed that he was like flirting with me. But then one day he like very bluntly flirted with me. So I, as he walked in, I greeted him. I was like, hello, good morning. And he was like, good morning, beautiful. And I was like, oh, <laughs> all right, okay, we can roll with this. So then he gets up to the counter and he starts flirting with me more. And I got really flustered and like didn't know what to say because your girl didn't take compliments very well, other than like a thank you, I guess. And so I didn't know what to say to him and he had called me really cute. So I decided after that experience, I was going to give him my number because he had come in a few times before that and I told my coworkers, I was like, I don't know why he doesn't ask for my number. And they were like, then just give it to him. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that. So I wrote down on a piece of paper, I was like, you're pretty cute too. And then I wrote my number and my name. And so I, the next morning, sure enough, he came in and the same routine, hi, good morning. And then he looks at me and goes, good morning, beautiful. And I was like, okay. So then he gets his stuff, he comes up to the counter and before he can say anything, I just slap this piece of paper on the counter and slap it over to him. I was like, this is for you. And he was like, I was actually going to ask. So then we texted uh, as frequently as we could that day um, because of his work and everything. So then he told me that he was going to be going out of town very soon because he's not from here and he was just brought here for work. And I was like, okay, so I guess that means you're going to have to take me on a date before you leave. And he was like, all right, what you doing tonight? And I was like, nothing. So then I got ready. We went out to a bar and it was really great. So then the date was going like really well and I was really like stoked about it. I was kind of upset that like he wasn't from here and he was going to be leaving soon because he was super cool. And so he told me they want me to ship out tomorrow and I'd like a travel buddy. Would you be interested in coming with me? And I was like, mm, you know what? That's super tempting, but I don't know about it. So then we actually like started talking about it and trying to figure out like how we can make it work, blah, blah, blah. And he told me I could bring my dog with me, which was kind of the deciding factor in that I definitely wanted to go. But then I started thinking about what everybody else was going to think if I did go, which I understand this is probably, th this was, this definitely was a really dumb thing for me to do. So I get to work the next day. And I tell my boss, who I'm good friends with, that this guy wants me to go with him and I really want to go. And he's like, dude, he could be a serial killer. He could be trying to like get you on the road with him to murder you and leave you in a ditch somewhere. And I was like, you know what? That's very true. And I, I considered it, but like I didn't want it to stop me from going. Like I really, really wanted to do this. So then one of my other coworkers was like, girl, you do you. If you really want to go, then just go. And I was like, okay. So then he texted me while I was at work and he was like, they want me to leave by this time. And I was like, I get off of work at that time. I would literally have to quit my job right now and walk out and go home and pack my stuff if I'm going to be able to go with you in time. So guess what I did? I quit my job. And I went home and the first thing that I said to my mother was nothing that you can say at this point is going to talk me out of this. I'm leaving. <laughs> she was like, okay. And I was like, wait, that's it? She was like, yep. 
okay, if that's really what you want to do. So then I pack my stuff, we get in the car, she's getting really anxious, and she's like, I want his name, his phone number, his license plate, the whole nine yards, and I was like, okay, I got you. And she kind of, like, made me nervous and, like, unsure of myself, but I had already committed to it, so I just had to keep going. So we get there, and he and my mom meet, and she cries, and she hugs me, and she leaves. And so then I get on the road with this dude and we're gone for two weeks. I left home for two weeks with a guy that I went on one date with. <laughs> Please do not do this. It turned out okay for me, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be okay every single time. Don't go off with strangers. <laughs> I should repeat, don't go off with strangers. It's very dangerous and I was very dumb to do it but I did it anyway. Oh, hello. Thank you. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you have any questions that you want to ask or ideas for future videos, leave those in the comments below. And if you like my stuff and you want to see more, then go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, stay magical, my friends.